Hello friends, welcome to QA Automation World. In this video, we are going to see how we can perform multi-select operation on list box or drop down uh, with the help of Selenium. So let's see the uh, uh, code provided by Selenium. So Selenium provided select class to perform uh, operation on the multi-select combo box or list box. So you can see there are methods like select by index select by visible text select by value and for same you have a deselect method as well again there is a method provided by selenium with select class that is get options get all selected options so you may need this uh, methods uh, not only to perform certain operation but also to verify uh, if that particular option is present inside the list box or not and again whatever we have selected if those are properly selected on the ui or not so let's try to code this thing okay so let me write new class for that okay my multi select okay so i have written one class so i will write some write one uh, placeholder method test multi select okay now uh, let me show you on the UI how we are going to achieve this particular thing on UI so this is the multi select list box so if you press control button and if you click on uh, item present in the list box so you can see Volvo got selected. I will do the same thing on the Opel. Okay. So this is how you can uh, multi-select the value from the list box. And we, we are going to achieve the same thing with the help of Selenium. So let's, let's try to do that. Okay. Let me import the test ng. So I just kept the, uh, the browser launching code handy. I'll just put that code over here. Okay. I will just import the required classes. Okay. I'm done. So let let me directly start writing the select class. Select dot is equal to new select. So this is the select class. Okay. So you can see it is expecting element in the constructor and that element will be your list box this is what we need to pass how we can get that particular element find element by so here we need to pass xpath or class name or name of that list box item so i will right click on the list box okay you can see this is the select list box having four options this select having uh, attribute name and its values car so I can go ahead and use this car dot name so I can go ahead and give this name okay fine so I am able to locate the list box but uh, its written type is web element so I will just have the web element Okay, so I got that element. So I will just pass that particular element to select class. Now I completed the select class. So now the select object is going to handle all the operation that we can perform on that uh, multi select list box. So let's see how we can do that. So you can see there are three methods select by index, select by value, select by visible text. I am going to use all the three methods. So let's say you want to select the item present or at zero location. Then I will use value. So let's see. Sorry, I use deselect. I need to use select value select by value. So let's go to the UI and see. So if you are thinking that for example Opel, this is a text. O is in capital and this is the value O is in small so if you want to use 
value then make sure that you are properly writing your text value okay it should not be a text present inside the tag it should be the val value of your value attribute now i will do select by visible text so i just saw it's audi so let's have the audi so i have selected three value so before running this program so let's have the thread dot slip so that we can see what is happening on the ui okay and i will do one more thing i will deselect as well at least one value deselect by index so maybe zero so now you can see my code is ready to run which is selecting three value and it is deselecting one value so let's try to run this code let's see what happens on the ui so it should select three values okay one two three got selected there is a three second wait okay and first value got deselected as well so you can see select and deselect worked for us so now there are few more uh, methods provided by selenium so i will just put this as it is okay and what i will do over here i will try to get the all the selected value so one is unselected so still there are two values in selected uh, like status so select dot get all selected options so you can see it's written type is list of web elements so it's written type is list of web elements so i need to have web element so here web element is already there okay selected options or i will put selected cars let me import the package done so with this method i will get all selected options so why this is required so you never know even if you have selected a particular value but your ui is having issue and your values are not getting selected and you need to check you need to check like uh, if my all the values that i have selected are actually in the select state or not so you can get those value and you can put your assert statement over here by which you can say like okay my values are selected or not fine so now i got the selected values okay let's do one thing and these are the elements these are the elements these are the elements means these are uh, holding each and every uh, selected option so let's do one thing we will print it so we will use for loop for that okay so you can see this is the for loop that we are using and sys out selected cars is equal to so plus i will say web element dot because it's a element it's a element we want a text of that particular element so now you can see you will get all the selected element text and uh, same way you can selected dot get get option or get first selected option so i will just go ahead and get the option so this is again going to return you the list of web element only thing is this time this time this will return all the all the element all the options so instead of selected cars i will say all cars and i will write another for loop to to get the all the values so here i will print all all cars is equal to plus 
web element dot get text so let me summarize so what we did we first uh, got the control of the select tag which is holding all the options so this is a select tag which is holding all the options so we got the xpath or maybe we use directly name attribute we got that particular element and we pass that particular element to the constructor of select class we got the this particular object of a select class now with that object we were able to access these three methods and we used these three different parameters to select our uh, cars after that we deselected as well with the help of deselect by index i put some thread dot sleep over here now you can use deselect by value deselect by text as well now what i did over here i got all the selected options only i know that uh, though i have deselected one option still two options are in selected test so i should get two selected cars over here and uh, i use this particular way by which it's it is going to return me get options it is going to return me all options which is present inside that list box and i just got the this particular uh, list so the thing is these things may be uh, required for your verification uh, purpose even there is one more option get first selected option you can use that as well uh, to check whatever the op operation that you have done those are uh, actually happened on the ui or not so let me run this and show you the result okay so browser is launched let's see what happens three options should be selected okay one should be deselected okay and then uh, there is a get operation get selected and get all the options so we are going to see okay so you can see selected cars so selected cars will be your opel and audi and in all cars you got all the four options that that is available to select so this by this way uh, you can work with the uh, multi select operations so there is a uh, you can use this particular select class for specific to the drop down operation as well where we can select only one operation so i will demonstrate that particular thing in the another video till then um, thank you guys bye